accountable for what comes out. I'm known for running my mouth. I will not be accountable for what comes out. And we're back with another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video. So we're going to do something kind of fun today. There is a new Sith patch coming out in the next couple of days. And what we're going to look at here is all of these Sith guys and their new upgrades and new features and new abilities because they work amazing. And we're going to go into this squad arena. And I've had tremendous success with this team. I've won every battle except for one team that had three cleansers. Let's go over the patch notes before we get into the squad arena team. And then we'll also do some galactic war just for fun. Hey everyone, we're working on getting the update out today, but we are currently running into a few issues. The update may be delayed one day to address these issues. We'll share any updates we have here in the forum. So the gameplay I'm gonna show you right now is on a beta build. Some things might be actually different. There's also some testing buttons and things that are not actually going to be in the game. In the meantime, we wanted to share with you these changes we are making to the Sith faction with this update. We hope you're all excited about these changes as we are. The Sith faction pass, Count Dooku, his basic hindering press now has been upgraded, can now debuff non-Jedi, and a chance to debuff Jedi is increased. Omega can't be countered in addition to 15% damage. His special force lightning, chance to debuff increased. Omega has a 50% to inflict shock in addition to the 15% damage. Wow, that shock mechanic is amazing. It's like buff immunity, no turn meter advantage, and no healing. Awesome. And then the damage was increased. His unique for his Zeta is Count Dooku gains critical hit immunity for one turn and recovers 10% protection whenever he counterattacks. Darth Maul has a new Zeta update. The stealth and turn meter from his ability now ignores taunting allies. Now, I'm not going to use any taunters in my build here. Darth Sidious, his basic death stroke ignores defense, no longer prevents critical hits. Omega now doubles the chance to ignore defense if target is debuffed and the damage is increased. His special demoralizing blow, Omega now inflicts Expose, and he is really fast. It seems like he goes first all the time. In a prediction to the previous bonus, and the damage was increased. His leadership ability, which I'm not going to use, is 1% critical chance, 10% critical damage. Sith allies gain 2% offense until the end of battle when they score a critical hit. Darth Vader, yay! <laughs> Darth Vader has to be awesome. It took us like a year to get him. Terrifying Swing now has an Omega 15% damage to addition to 15% ability block change and the basic attack damage was increased as well as his Force Crush, the damage was increased. Now Savage, boy, this guy is a tank and he can do so many cool things. His basic Staggering Blow now always has a 50% chance to inflict offense down doubled on crit. The damage was increased. His special overpower deal massive damage if the target has 50% health or below in addition to the previous bonus. And I really like this ability because it will also get through foresight. Very difficult to get through Kenobi when he has foresight and it just goes right through that. His leadership ability, which we're not going to use, changed to percent defense. Defense maxes out at 75% and his Omega gives 15% defense and 30% tenacity. Now his unique is really cool. At the end of his turn, Savage dispels all debuffs from a random other Sith ally and gains those debuffs. The Zeta gains heal over time when damaged, buff duration plus one, and 50% turn meter gain chance. Dispel all buffs from Savage whenever he's critically hit. So the final text reads, whenever Savage takes damage, he gains offense up, defense up, and heal over time for two turns and gains 30% turn meter. At the end of his turn, Savage dispels all buffs on a random other ally and gains those debuffs for one turn dispel all debuffs from Savage whenever he's critically hit. And I've seen this guy, like one versus three guys, all the time. Like he can just take out Jedis. It's lots of fun. All right, let's go back to the phone. We'll look at Maul's leadership ability. Because Maul is what makes this team amazing. His leadership ability is just amazing. Sith allies gain 20% evasion. They're evading all the time. Game 20% turn meter and stealth for one turn at the start of each encounter and whenever they evade or are critically hit. Can't be critically hit while stealth and gain advantage for two turns whenever the stealth expires. The stealth and turn meter from this ability ignores taunting allies. And then also his power of hatred unique, which is also zated out. Darth Maul gains 20% max health and gains math health equal to 10%. 
of the damage he deals and potency equal to 0.3 of his max health. Whenever enemy is defeated, Darth Maul gains the bonuses for the rest of the counter. Now, this team right here probably needs something like B2 to give buff immunity or something like that. Not sure what this team is missing, but for a team that is all Sith, it is lots of fun. Let's go into battle. And we're going to do kind of a mirror match first, and then we're going to play against the First Order here in the middle, and then we're going to play against this team over here on the right, which we'll lose to because it has three cleansers on it, which is crazy. Okay, let's do the mirror match first, and <laughs> lots of fun. You're going to see that my Darth Sidious almost always goes first. Look at that, going first right here. And this is going to give exposed to everybody. They deal physical damage to all enemies and inflict damage over time exposed for two turns. This attack inflicts two additional damage over time effects on a critical hit. Let's see that happen. Okay. So we got all kinds of exposed and DOTs already on them. Boy, they got a fast team over there. Now let's see if we can get some stuns. We're gonna do right here, 70% chance to stun. So we're gonna just try to stun everybody over there. Ooh, we got a couple. All right, now this is also very good. Whirling blades deal physical damage to all enemies and inflict daze for two turns. This attack deals double damage to Jedis. Ah, oh, we're getting lots of them right there. All right, we have to go after Kenobi. We're going to save this for when there is an opportunity to do that ma massive damage when they have 50% health or below. Okay. We're going to keep going right here. I think we should be able to take Kenobi out pretty quickly. This hit right here should do it. All right, he's gone. All right, let's focus on Palpatine because he's kind of a glass cannon. Ugh, he dodged, and that's because of Maul's leadership ability, and he goes stealth as soon as he dodges. Oh, look at that. We got three of them dodged right now. That's very cool. All right, we're still going to continue focusing on Palpatine. Palpatine has kind of like the lowest HP out of those there. All right, one more hit, and he should be gone. He went to stealth right there. Maul's leadership ability is amazing. I love it. Okay. Uh-oh. All right. He had heal block uh, computer misplays. All right. Got to love it. All right. What I'm going to do is this culling blade that should take care of the B2, and I'll get to go again and take out Palpatine on this turn. Very good. Oh, uh, it's hit both of them right there. Oh, we got... Damage over time and expose going on there. Let's throw a shock on Vader. And I think I can take him out right here in one hit. Oh, he dodges. Oh, <laughs> not good. Oh, and he dies from the damage over time. All right, a shock and then we'll be good. And now we're going to go up against a First Order team right here that is very good. All the new upgrades to the First Order are going to come up on the next match here. Still ranked number one. Okay, let's go into this First Order team, which I find very interesting right here, where it's got Phasma. Okay, I'm going to try to take out the TIE pilot first. All right, let's see if we get a bunch of shocks here. Hopefully we can get the daze mechanic up and running on Kylo Ren. Boy, everybody is stunned. Oh, here we go. Everybody get daze? Pretty close. Oh, let's see, the shock takes care of him. Boy, I can't see what's going on. All right, we're gonna use Culling Blade. And we want to use Ability Block on the First Order Stormtrooper. We don't want him taunting. He probably will taunt as soon as he can go. So might as well just keep attacking him. Because he's going to taunt anyways. Look at that dodge right there. Back to back. All the dodge is going off. Haha. <laughs> Massive amounts of dodges. Love it. All right, so he taunted like I thought he would. 
That's okay. He's almost gone. Dodge saves. Boy, Maul's leadership ability is just so good. All right, now we can focus on the First Order Officer. And as soon as we can get that Daze mechanic up on Kylo Ren, we'll focus on him. Here we go. All right, so the Daze is up on Kylo Ren, so I can go after him. He can no longer use his counterattack, Retribution. Ooh, let's get some stuns. Both of them are stunned. I'm gonna put a lot of effects on them right here. Seems like that could be very good with TIE Pilot and Boba Fett. All those negative status effects really seem to rack up. Could have did that massive damage there, but I didn't do it. That's all right. That would have done 99,000 damage if it would have hit him right there. All right, let's go and play this team that I can't win. And this team works well because it has a bunch of cleansers. General Kenobi can cleanse, Sharut can cleanse, and then Barris has a cleanse. So this is a nightmare battle right here. Think that there would have to be something like B2 or maybe Short Trooper to beat this team. It's just really tough. Now notice how everybody's got stealth. Sidious goes first. Look at that. He dodges and goes stealth himself. All right, if I can get a stun on Kenobi and Sharut. Nope. All right, so what's going to happen is Sharut is going to use his cleanse, and everybody's going to be unstunned and so on. And from there, it just gets ugly, and they take over. All right, we got a couple days mechanics. Uh, we really needed to get days on Sharut. Maybe I can get ability block on Kenobi before he can go, because if Kenobi can go, then he's going to also get rid of all the status effects. It's just nuts. And then also, Barris is getting rid of negative status effects all the time. Whoever's got the lowest health, you know, she's taking out that. This is a great team right here. So this team right here that I'm playing against absolutely can take care of me because of their ability just to mess with everything that I'm trying to do to them. Three cleansers is crazy. All right, I'm going to put this on autoplay because it's pretty much a battle I can't win. Because it just, over and over and over again, they just get health. Need to have B2 or something like that for this team. And then after this, we'll go into the Galactic War and just play around with it a little bit and see all the cool stuff that it does. Especially I want to show you the overpower of Savage. Just... Hitting for 99,000 damage is a lot of fun. Boy, Bayes and Shrew combo is great. Ha, <laughs> dodge. Look at all these dodges. Yeah, anytime there's a dodge or a critical, they'll go stealth. Oop, there we go. <laughs> and then uh, Barris is there to heal. Pretty much unwinnable with the team that I have here. I'll let this play out. Slow death. Looks like Sharud is the only one that can do serious damage on this team. Very defensive. And you're going to see, I've seen this a bunch of times, that... Savage just can hang in there, just with all of his abilities. I've gotten into situations where it's been like one versus three, and he just hangs in there and keeps going and keeps going. He's just a beast. He's a brute. Plus, you know, every once in a while he evades. Look at that, still at full health. <laughs> Oh, they're barely dead to give. Finally, he's dead. <laughs> All right. Let's go into Galactic Ore. Just play around for a bit because it's kind of fun. 
All right, got our team built. Let's go in. And I just want to show you that massive damage with Savage is so much fun. But I'm sure we're just going to plow through them like it's nothing. They're not going to be able to do anything. Look at all that damage right there. <laughs> all right, so this is going to do 99,000 damage, and he's dead. Now, look at this. One more hit. Pretty insane. All right. Looks like the Sith are viable. Absolutely. They sure are a lot of fun to play. I think Dalton Maul as leadership is going to be amazing with at least Palpatine and Darth Vader and Savage. Sidious, I'm still not really sure about. Dooku could pick up the slack, but I think there needs to be something else in there, some sort of dispeller like B2 to make the team complete. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Really appreciate Rogan for helping me out for about an hour and a half on this video right here. And as always, thanks for watching and keep on gaming.